This gathering is called Mai Tai Global. One part tech conference, one part kiteboarding jamboree. It started eight years ago with an unusual meeting. This guy, Silicon Valley venture capitalist and avid kiteboarder Bill Tai, reached out to this woman, Susie Mai, one of the world's top pro kiteboarders. The first email I ever got from Bill was, our names together spell Mai Tai. I don't know what that means, but it means we have to do something awesome. That awesome thing between Mai and Tai became Mai Tai Global, an annual gathering in Maui of elite kiteboarders, venture capitalists, entrepreneurs, and executives with major tech companies. There's a like, combination of an extreme sport plus a lot of actual information and just like a nice relaxed atmosphere afterwards. It's become one of the hottest tickets in tech and a struggle to keep the event down to an intimate 120 attendees. They had something like a thousand plus invites and you know to try and whittle that down to a top 120 is uh, a difficult thing. There are formal morning sessions to pitch startups, explore entrepreneurship and discuss emerging technologies, but it's the afternoon sessions on the beach and the kiteboarding that forms the common bond. Indeed, attendees see a common skill set required by entrepreneurs and kiteboarders. One of the things that is unusual about kiteboarding that you will learn when you try is that you need help from a lot of people because you can't launch by yourself, you can't land by yourself, you can't read something and learn, it's all word of mouth. And deals do get done here. Sydney-based startup Canva launched at Mai Tai. The online design platform raised $3 million from a group of investors CEO Melanie Perkins met right here on the beach. All of a sudden we were thrown in with some of the best investors, the best press people, the best entrepreneurs. Here's another, Solo Shot, a startup made for this crowd. It's a tripod mounted technology that trains a video camera on anyone wearing the Solo Shot transponder. It's perfect for the soccer mom set, but one that the kiteboarding VCs instantly understood. To be around entrepreneurs, just surrounded by them, is, is just is, is like incredibly useful. Like One getting feedback on the product, they're stoked on it because they're going to go home with all this footage uh, that they wouldn't have otherwise had. They're also going to be in my network. It's all putting Kea Point Beach on the global technology map. In some ways, I think we are touching the kind of the fabric of these new ideas out here. And we're doing it in Boston and MIT area. We're doing it in Cambridge. We're doing it in Israel. So we're going global hotspots for good ideas. But you can't be here and not kiteboard, a difficult sport that proves that any kind of startup isn't as easy as it looks.